Why should we all not live in peace and harmony? We look up at the same stars, we're fellow passengers on the same planet, and we dwell beneath the same sky. What matters it along which road each individual endeavors to find the ultimate truth? Here's a boy. He looks out at the same stars, the same sky, as you or I do. Yours, mine, his. But who is he? Who is this young man? And why is he here? Well, I think that he can tell you that much better than I can. My name is Pierre Millen, and I was born in Chimay, Belgium. I attend what would correspond to 11 years of school in the U.S. For six years, I was in uh, boarding school. The emphasis was on languages, both classic and modern, French, Dutch, Latin and Greek. For family, I still have my mother and my sister. Father died after nine months of hiding from the Germans who were occupying Belgium. Belgium is a small country, population of nine million. My sister married an American. She had one little boy born in Belgium and another born in the U.S. Mother was anxious to see the little fellow, so she said, we go to the U.S. And I said, I don't want to go to the U.S. Naturally, she said again, we'll go. When we arrived, I didn't like it and stayed in all the time for two months. Then I had a job in a dry cleaning and had to go out and start learning English. America was our friend during the war. We appreciate that. Then Belgium, like the American soldiers who came in, and the American soldiers said they liked Belgium better than some other country. In Belgium, we had strong stone hogs, and the wooden hogs in the uh, U.S. seemed so flimsy. I remember when I first came, they just looked like little toys. Automobiles are used, but not as commonly. But old cars are not discarded, but used as long as they last. And I tell you, they just look like real jewels. People travel more by train or bicycle. Belgium being small, the stances are short. Where you would travel 25 miles from city to city, a Belgium might only travel two. So a bicycle is very satisfactory. A Belgium itself might go on a bicycle tour of Belgium or France, and the bicycle tour and bicycle races are a favorite recreation. Belgium is very clean. Every morning, sidewalks are uh, scrubbed with soap, and people try to see who can have the cleanest one. Food. Belgian food is different from American. Naturally, I prefer Belgian. Popcorn and hamburger are my favorite American food. I never ate either before I came to the U.S. Corn is not eaten as a food in Belgium, but gives to chicken. Uh, the leading industry is uh, mining. The part of Belgium where I live was called the Black Country. Miners are held in great respect. And I miss seeing miners coming out from work with their black face with coal dust. Methods of farming, well, Belgian farms are very small, and livestock lives in the stable adjoining the house. This made the whole place dirty. Farmers are not held in respect of miners. I remember during the war, Farmers charge high price, six dollars for a pound of butter, and this made them unpopular. We also have uh, motorcycle manufacturing and 
lace making in Brussels and Bruges. Politics, Belgians don't take the same interest in politics, maybe because the king may be on the throne for 20 years or more, while here a president is elected every four years. When our King Leopold III came home from Switzerland, there was great excitement and political interest. Relations between parents and children. A boy, after he's 16, has to work and give all the money to his father. Way, the money uh, the father will give him what spending money is saying the boy should have. I myself had when you Sense. This was for my movie. Uh, school in Belgium is hard in the uh, United States. Teachers are rough and not as kind as here. Here, well, I think everybody's trying to help me in school, but I think that American students take advantage of their teacher. They can talk, they talk too much, and they don't work as hard as they should. In Belgium, we don't have any choice of subject. All must take what they are required to. And this doesn't make always easy. Americans are very kind. In Europe, people would laugh at one who couldn't speak the language. Here, no one laughs. Not even in school. They all try to help me. I'll say that Belgians are more polite in strict sense of manner. Here, when I go to see a friend, his home is very hospitable and I can have anything I want to. Americans are culture. Religion is hard to compare between the two countries as over 80% of Belgians are Catholic. But I think you make more propaganda here than you do in Belgium. There's a thing I like to see. It's Belgian women knitting or sewing everywhere. And I think that American women may copy that. Also, we have joie de vie. Here, Americans have more money and more things but they don't seem to really enjoy their lives. In Belgium, you would see people dropping for coffee or cards or go to dance in a group. I myself love to dance and sing, and I seem to have so little opportunity here. You also see people of all ages drinking, which they did in great moderation. Uh, I think the people of America, I wish I could tell them how much uh, satisfaction we get from our lives. What should role of what should role of U.S. be in the world today? Pierre, before what you uh, before you talk about that, Pierre, I would like to ask you a couple of other questions. Um, you talked about food a moment ago. Uh, do we people in America eat so much different from your people in Belgium? Well, I think especially the way of cooking the food is different. That's what I think. Tell me, in uh, Belgium, where do you get your ideas of what Americans are like? Well, there's so much propaganda in, the uh, in Belgium about U.S. and Sometimes they make it sound too wonderful. I'll say that America is propagandized too much in Belgium. When, so when people are coming in the United States, some are disappointed. Well, no, I think I interrupted you. You were talking about uh, what you thought the United States' role should be in Europe, We're talking as a Belgian. Well, I think that they have a great big role now. It is from a fighting communists in Korea, and I appreciate that very much, and I think that's for the good of the world. Well, now you know who this boy is, but why is he here? 
Why did we ask you to meet him? Here's a young man from Belgium, once a faraway country, now only a few hours from the United States by air. Now, we all have our differences of language. You can hear that today. And customs and ways of doing things. And we have to live with differences. Pierre has to live with ours, and we with his. But are the differences so very important? Yes, they are. You can't discard them. Because they're there. The language itself, just that one thing, gets pretty much in the way many times in the way of understanding people. But we have to learn to live with those differences. But more important than that, what about our similarities? Because those differences are pretty superficial. What about the things underneath? What about our ways of being the same? Our likes, our needs, our necessities, our dislikes, our wants. When we are hungry, we all eat. When we are cold, we all want shelter. And it's with those similarities that we should concern ourselves, our common humanity. So, we ask you to remember this young man from Belgium, a fellow man who is a fellow traveler on the same planet, who lives under the same sky as you or I, and who looks up at the same stars.